Welcome to the Bombshell Business Podcast, where driven fempreneurs learn how to become more bold, brave, and unwaveringly confident. Turn your dreams into actionable, marketable, and profitable plans and make your business irresistible. Welcome to the Bombshell Business Podcast. I'm your host, Amber Hurdle, and this is the week that I have been working towards all year. As of Sunday, officially October 1st, I launched the Bombshell Businesswoman, How to Become a Bold, Brave Female Entrepreneur. Now, even trying to wrap my mind around how many women I can reach now because I have an actual book that you can hold in your hands uh, and and anybody with $14.99 in their pocket can have access to. And even if you don't know what a podcast is or you're not on social media, you don't follow blogs, everybody knows how to buy a book and that is happening. And I couldn't be more thrilled. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this was hard. Uh, this <laughs> was very hard, but rewarding. I stretched myself beyond where even I thought I could go. And learning and implementing a whole new industry, this whole book publishing world is just, you know, it's it's way out of my zone of, of experience and expertise and where my talent really is. Um, I, I hope I can get good at it because I want to write more books, but it's been a challenge and I, you know, I don't want to make it sound like, oh yeah, you just throw up a book and it's good to go. I mean, this has been quite a process with multiple editors and graphic designers and um, the whole, just so many decisions to be made about so many little itty bitty things and then decisions behind the scenes with uh, publicity firms and social media planning and content planning and promotion strategies. And it's just, it's, you know, that stuff is definitely in my wheelhouse, but the whole write and edit a book and decide what to write about and what to put in and what to leave out and how to structure it. And uh, that, whoo, yeah, girl, it's been real. Uh, But it's done, it's here and it's out. So you can buy it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, Walmart.com. And it's actually, I know in Middle Tennessee, it's in stores at Barnes and Noble and Books a Million. So um, if you are in the Middle Tennessee area, go to the Nashville or Mount Juliet Books a Millions or in the Hendersonville or Murfreesboro Barnes and Noble. I think that's those are stores where I know they are for sure. I'm not sure if the West End location has it or not. I've got to check. But um, if it's not in the store, then you just go up to customer service and you ask them to put it in the store and they'll order you a copy and you could pick it up. And then um, I think what happens then is that they'll back order whatever they sell to you and um, then it'll always be in that store. At least that's how I think it works. So that would be a huge help. Um, but today I really wanted to go over all the questions I've been asked as I've um, gone through this process. And it has been a crazy process. Um, So just buckle up because I'm going to tell you about everything you need to know uh, about this book and, and what to expect. So First, obviously, what is the Bombshell Businesswoman about? Well, if you've been following me or been listening to the podcast, then you know I have quite an interesting backstory. So the first few chapters talk about that story of going from a teen mom to a successful businesswoman. And I talk about the painful details of sitting and telling my parents that I was pregnant at 16 late at night and the horrific details of my birth experience. And I speak to those darker days where hope seemed just so far off from reality. I started the book this way to eliminate any excuses readers may have as they're on their own entrepreneurial journey. And I I felt like if I could share my story, then I can basically say, if I can do it, you can do it. And then once I tell that story and, and dig a little deeper into my past, I make a point of saying, all right, Story time's over, time to buckle up, it's time to get some work done. And then from that point on, girl, it is a deep dive into best practices. I use real life examples. I give instructions on how to implement these teachings into your business. So very, very um, practical, I guess is a good way to say it. Like this is exactly what you do. I'm not holding anything back. I'm not asking you to buy into a program. I'm telling you, do this and you'll get results. So um, another question, I'm asked um, often is what is a bombshell? Well, again, you listen to my podcast. If this is your first time listening, then you hear in the intro that um, we want to be bold, brave female entrepreneurs. And really, 
a bold, brave female professional. And it, being a bombshell is not about looks. It's not about sensuality. I am stealing that word back. And um, and I'm, I'm going to say that a bombshell is somebody who instantly commands attention because she's so confident. It's not about being beautiful. She's walking into a room and has a refreshing attention-getting boldness. So um, if that's who you want to be, then definitely... Uh, you are a bombshell. Um, now, who was this written for? Because, you know, there's a lot of female business owners out there, right? And I talk about niching and I talk about branding and we all know that I'm not for everybody, but that puts it mildly. In fact, I got my first um, hater uh, for my reviews on iTunes. So if anybody wants to offset that one, just hop on over to iTunes and leave a positive review if that's your honest review. Um, But you know, that doesn't bother me at all because I know I'm not for everybody. So I want my brand to be an instantly, yes, that's for me or no, that's not for me because that's what a strong brand is. So who was this book written for? Specifically, for female entrepreneurs who don't want a lot of fluff to wade through. They don't want to have a bunch of mamsy pamsy stuff. They want detail to the point to do's that they can follow to improve their businesses and their lives. So that being said, many of the principles in the book can be applied in a corporate environment too. So, um, I mean, we're talking about hiring, customer service, personal branding, working with creative vendors like um website designers, graphic designers, photographers, videographers, um, and talking about a lot of these concepts that are actually relevant in all business leadership, but I am speaking directly to a female entrepreneur like yourself so that it, it feels like somebody wrote it to you. I mean, there's all kinds of business books out there and then you have to kind of like think about, okay, well, how would I apply this to my small business or I don't even have a employee. Like what, how, how would I use this information. So I wrote this book where if you don't if you don't have employees then skip that chapter, but everything else is is written in a way that any female entrepreneur who has a get it done kind of attitude can process this and um, and and apply it to our business. Now, even men, and shout out to all my bombshell boys who are listening, I mean, they can greatly benefit from this book too. You just have to look past like the glam and the lipstick and the Botox references and all that kind of stuff. And, and it would definitely uh, serve you. So uh, buckle up, boys. Now, what topics does this book cover specifically? Obviously, I talk a lot on the show about how to embrace and exude confidence. That is a key element of being a bombshell. You can accomplish so much more if you just are comfortable with you and if you understand, um, you know, I guess who you were meant to be. And so we have to dig for that. And then once you have that, you get confidence. So we next have to figure out who you're meant to be and what you're supposed to do for a living. Um, It talks about how to create your business model, essential business principles to help you stay focused, establishing your company culture and why it matters. And if you're asking me, oh, Amber, I'm just a little business. I don't really need like a whole company culture. Wrong. You totally need this book. Go amazon.com, buy it right now. Um, We talk about developing your business brand, understanding your personal brand as a business owner, creating a basic business plan, how to create goals and strategic plans to support them, how to attract your ideal customer, how to market your business without being overwhelmed. That's something novel, right? Uh, How to network, how to work with creatives. I told you like graphic designers, web designers, photographers, videographers, those type of people, how to offer exceptional customer service and importantly, ensure that your team does the same. How to hire and inspire a team. I mean, that's not the easiest thing either. I mean, I have an awesome and awesome team. I promise I read a book. I have I have proper grammar um, other than my Southernisms. Uh, and, you know, and, and that didn't come lightly. So um, hiring and inspiring a team helps you maintain that brand that you so carefully created in that business that is your lifeline. Um, I talk about which easy to use tech tools you can use to streamline your business. I've touched on some of those in the show. Um, I dig a whole lot deeper in the book. Um, I talk about why time management is a total farce. It's a lie women are fed. And I think it's hogwash. I'd like to use a stronger word than hogwash, but this is a PG show. And I want to um, explain what you should aspire for instead. And so I, I get into that for an entire chapter and, and give you practical 
practical tools to do that. And then, of course, we talk about how to embrace the bold, brave female entrepreneur that is already inside of you, girl. It's there. You just have to dig it out. Um, So what if you haven't started your business yet? Will this book still help you? Yes. You will actually have all the foundational instruction you will need to march your way into becoming that lady boss that you are dreaming of. And you can use this book as a guide to prepare for your business launch. And then once you have your business launch, you can use it as a reference as you continue to grow. So you just keep going back to it and applying the the things that then become relevant to you and and your business and where it is in the future. Um, Now, if you've been in business for several years, it can also help you. Um, I've worked with countless well-established female-owned businesses and the common problems that I saw and the steps that were routinely skipped in their businesses were actually what inspired this book. So um, some of the principles I teach in this book are even some of the same topics I cover with my Fortune 500 and even Fortune 100 clients. And they all got copies of the book and they're all like, oh, I remember when you taught this. So it's really applicable across the board, but again, written specifically for a female entrepreneur. So whether you need to get brilliant with the basics or you need to do a deep dive into a new way of going about your business, you've lost your way, you need some structure, you never built that foundation, you've been flying by the, by the seat of your pants, this is your go-to resource for challenges you face in your day-to-day operations. Now, on the back, um, I do mention God-given gifts, and there's even a chapter um, called Fearfully and Wonderfully Made, and I just talk about why I have always been pretty confident, not arrogant, confident, um, And so that's my own thought process. Um, But because of those couple of things, um, I've been asked if The Bombshell Businesswoman is a Christian book. And it's, it's not. It's not a Christian book written specifically for Christians. It's a business book <laughs> written for women in business. So, I mean, I talk about God briefly as it relates to my personal story and my life philosophy and the more like autobiographical section. But once you get into the nuts and bolts of like the business teaching, you're not going to be reading anything like God saith doth to command you to uh, market thy business and have great customer service for thy glory. Like that's not going to happen. So um, don't worry about that. If, if you read that, I mean, it's, it's totally safe for whatever belief system you have. Now, make no mistake and I, I've said this on the program before, I am a Christian and I live according to Matthew 22, 37 through 40. And um, that says to love God and to love each other and all the other rules come after that. So when you look at love, um, according to Corinthians 13, it's patient, it's kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it does not dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, and it keeps no records of wrong. It rejoices in the pr- truth and protects trust, hopes, and preserves because love never fails. Um, and that's paraphrased, um, but that's kind of how I like to look at it. So to me, it's my job to love. Um, I believe we're all made in God's image and that's where all of this came up, all of us. And I enjoy and embrace the many walks of life represented among my bombshells. I learned so much looking through life um, through various lenses. And I mean, honestly, when I become perfect and all-knowing, maybe that's when I'll get high and mighty, but I'm doubting that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> and even if it did, I probably wouldn't be high and mighty because you know, grace is, is a huge, grace is a, it's a business value of mine. So we show grace to each other and uh, to customers and ourselves. Um, so uh, just wanted to clear that up. Now, that being said, one of the bonuses that I do have that you don't have to download is a seven-day devotional. So that's for women who do want to include that aspect in their business. Um, So what are some tips? Because you you wanna be able to get the most out of the books that you read. So my tips are to read through the book one time and then decide what your biggest business challenges are. Because I cover so much in this book. I mean, the people who read it are like, oh my gosh, you didn't leave anything out. Well, I didn't, I just... I gave it my all. And to me, there's still so much to go, but I felt like these are the things that every female entrepreneur needs to have in place to be successful. So, and confident because you have your poop in a group, right? So go back to those chapters and then complete the take action bombshell sections at the end of each chapter. If you wanna go through the whole thing, 
you know, chapter by chapter, great. But really the best thing to do is read the whole book, find out the places that are just like killing you, they're the pain points, the, the, the things that just are slowing you down or holding you back mentally or, or financially and go to those chapters and then complete the to-dos like a psycho woman. And then once you've decided what your greatest pain points are, then go back through the rest of the book. Now, I want to see bombshell squad book clubs popping up all over the world, okay? So um, one of the other bonuses that you can download for free by you know just again opting in at, at the bombshellbusinesswoman.com is, um, is a book club guide. So it'll show you um, how you could do a book club if you just do like a one-time meetup or if you do a four-week book study. So discussing the book each week each week with your squad while then focusing like specifically what you need to do in your business will just help increase the support level and the accountability and it will be awesome. So speaking of bonuses, let's go through what those bonuses are one by one because this is like, I'm just... I'm giving away the farm. I really am. And it's because like, why would I go through all the trouble of writing a daggum book if I'm not gonna give you just every tool to equip you to use it and be successful? Okay, so again, go to thebombshellbusinesswoman.com and then at the top, you can hit bonuses and it'll automatically scroll you right down to where you can register. You'll just put in your name and your email address and then you will get an email immediately with um, a link where you could download it. I mean, it's like a zip file in the email. So it's straight to your to your desktop I know that you all are busy. You don't want to have to, you know, follow a link and then take another step and then another step and then download all of this stuff. So it is coming straight at you as soon as you fill out that form. So um, in that um, zip file is first the Bombshell Businesswoman Workbook. Now this is 43 pages that complement the book's content. So it's full of questions and tips found at the end of each chapter or rather in in the middle of the chapter. So if I make a suggestion in the chapter, if I, if I reference something, it's in that workbook. And then all of the questions um, in the take action bombshell part at the end of each chapter are also in this workbook. So you can, you can track everything in your workbook and you don't have to, you know, write in the margins or keep a separate journal. Like everything can be all in one place. Glory, glory. There's even at the at the very end an idea parking lot. So if you get an idea um, and you know like there is no way I'm going to be able to implement this like in the next 90 days, then you can just jot it down there. I find that when I read books, I get a lot of ideas, but you know, practically speaking, it's it's not always um, wise to pursue those right away um, in light of what's going on in business at the time. So that's why the idea parking lot is there. Again, there's that book club guide. So it is time for you to form your bombshell squad. And this will lay out exactly how to manage a group of female entrepreneurs through all the tons of tactical business advice found in the Bombshell Businesswoman. So um, even if you're not in the same season as the other Bombshell Squad members are, then, um, you know, there's just lots of life experiences, ideas, uh, business experiences that you can share to strengthen your perspective. And just to be, um, you know, other wise um, or even um, idea sourcing sources for you. So um, I, again, I cannot emphasize emphasize how much you need to form a squad and you could do it online too. You can start a Facebook group or you can meet via Zoom or Skype. I mean, it doesn't have to be in person, but in person, you know, there's nothing like, you know, belly to belly. So um, just whatever you do, if you can find or, or start a squad, I encourage you to do that. Now, the third thing is the more inspirational. So we have um, the workbook, which is very tactical. We have the book club guide, which is um, supportive. And then the third bonus is inspirational. So there are 30 days of affirmations. So if that's your jam, then download those. Um, and then there's also the Bombshell Business Woman devotional, seven days of biblical truths for Christian women in business. Um, and honestly, whether you include your personal faith in your bombshell journey or you just want the daily inspiration, either or, or both of these, um, you know, I really 
wanted to start you off on the right foot. So as you tackle some of these big business challenges that maybe you've been avoiding or you just didn't know what to do, I want you to have the right mindset. It's critical to next leveling. So I designed these just to give you that extra oomph. So, um, you know, you can figure out how to download those uh, resources um, even by going to amberhurdle.com. There's a post all about that. So, um, of course, everybody wants to know that they are um, asking repeatedly, especially my podcast listeners, um, if there is an audiobook. I know you listen to me now and you probably want to listen to the book. Um, again, writing this book is really hard and it was way more work than, no, it was all the work that I thought it would be, maybe a little bit more, but that's why I've been avoiding it for a couple of years now <laughs> because I knew it would take all of my focus. And um, I am in the process of recording the audiobook, so I'm working on it. It will be an aud- audible. Stay tuned for that. I'll let you know. And um, and the last question is, do you plan to write another book? And absolutely, for sure. Now that I did it one time, um, now that I've felt the pain, I, I think I can do it again. Um, so I've got one already store- started actually, uh, but I would love to know what you want me to write about. Like what are your specific challenges or after you've read The Bombshell Businesswoman, what was still lacking for you? What what did you want to know more about? So um email us info at amberhurdle.com or let us know in the show notes what you would love to see next. And um, I will consider that and get to crack a lacking. Um, so what should you do from here? Assuming that you want this book, I'm assuming that you would love all of this free information um, considering that you're listening to this podcast. So obviously buy the book. Again, um, Amazon really is a great place, especially this first week because um, that helps just with like search and rankings and all that kind of stuff. Um, But it's also available on Barnes and Noble and Books A Million and walmart.com. And of course, like I said, um, waltz on into your bookstores locally and and see if they've got it requested if they don't. Um, And then leave an honest review on Amazon. I can't explain how important this is. And our goal this first week is to get 100. And that's a little crazy, um, but I need honest reviews. So um, if you get the Kindle version or if you've already bought the book, if you pre-ordered it, um, then please, please, please take a moment, log into your Amazon account and leave an honest review so that other women know that there's help and that somebody wrote this for them with them in mind. Um, And then step three, download those bonuses, thebombshellbusinesswoman.com. Don't forget to put the, the bombshellbusinesswoman.com. Just typing your name, your email address, and we will zip those right to you. So thank you so much. Thank you for supporting this journey of my own. I am so honored to be on your bombshell journey with you. Um, I know I have to promote this book and it's all self-promotion and trust me, that has felt icky for a long time now. (laughs) But what I keep reminding myself is that if I want to help you, then I have to do this. And if I write a book and I don't ask people to help promote it, then what good does it do? And so I... I thank you for leaving such amazing reviews for the podcast. I thank you for sharing the podcast with others. I thank you for sharing my quotes on social media and my blog posts. And I and I just appreciate you coming into my bombshell squad and being a part of that. Oh, and I almost forgot. And you'll learn this because of course I have to give bonuses to the bonuses. So like every day for a week, but when you first download the bonuses, I'm going to send you something else. I mean, I have a bombshell signature cocktail. I have where to find people to be in your bombshell squad. I have a book club menu with recipes. I mean, like I left no stone unturned. But I also have a Facebook group. So I will put that in the show notes. I'm not really um, advertising that publicly because I only want it to be women who are really intentional about working on their businesses and not just people who are trying to spam or pick up business or things like that from other people or use it as a tool to elevate themselves. I really want it to be something where people are helping each other working through this book. And um, I have some ideas of what I'd like to do in there, um, but really it's about you all working together. So um, be sure to join the Bombshell Businesswoman 
book club on Facebook. Um, and I would love to see you in there. And then stay tuned because we are planning a book tour and um, we're mapping out those cities and getting the media lined up and some book signing opportunities. So um, hopefully I can have a meetup in your area. Um, If you want to see me come to your area, if you have any uh, influence or if you have a group or anything like that where um, I could come speak or do a talk on on the book, um, let me know. Again, uh, email us at info at amberhurdle.com dot com and um, my team will take a look at that and we'll see what is plausible and we're going to do everything that we can to touch as many people like literally physically hug as many bombshells as we can so let us know um, thanks again for listening and I hope you have a fabulous week until next time thanks for listening to the bombshell business podcast visit amberhurdle.com for more resources and be sure to tune in again Cheers to you, bombshell.